In the annals of history, the name Louis IX shines as a beacon of virtue amidst the tumult of medieval France. While he may not boast the triumphant crusading victories akin to Richard the Lionheart or Godfrey of Bouillon, Louis IX's legacy as a just and noble king remains undeniable. Join us in this exploration of Saint Louis IX, the pious monarch and crusader king, as we delve into the life of this remarkable monarch, drawing insights from the first-hand account of his close companion, Jean of Joinville. Louis IX's journey as a monarch commenced at the age of 12, when he ascended to the throne following his father's passing. His coronation was marked by a profound sense of responsibility, as he observed fasting and conducted an all-night vigil, guided by his devout mother, Blanche, who instilled in him a prioritization of spiritual well-being over all else. Louis IX's formative years were shaped by a commitment to virtuous living. Despite facing criticism from advisors as he prioritized religious practices, Louis IX remained steadfast in his devotion. Daily attendance at multiple masses, simple attire resembling that of a monk, and regular fasting reflected his dedication to a humble and contemplative lifestyle. At the age of 20, he married Margaret of Provence, and together they navigated the challenges of raising a family, enduring the sorrow of losing two children in infancy. Louis IX's governance reflected his commitment to justice and compassion, his strict enforcement of laws against usury, establishment of a house for recovering prostitutes, and fair compensation for those affected by battles showcased his commitment to the well-being of his subjects. His renowned acts of charity included feeding beggars from his own table, washing the feet of the poor, and personally ministering to lepers. As we peer into the life of St. Louis, we turn to the intimate recollections of Jean of Joinville, a confidant who offers a nuanced perspective on the king's daily affairs. Louis IX, in the midst of managing his realm, prioritized moments of spiritual reflection. His days were meticulously organized, featuring the solemnity of choir-sung hours for the dead. Evenings saw him attending Vespers and Compline, emphasizing a steadfast commitment to his Christian duties. Louis IX's unique approach to justice emerges as a defining trait. Post-dinner, he would convene with his advisors, including John Dannis and the Count of Soissons, to address legal matters. The king's method involved personally hearing pleadings at the city gate, ensuring accessibility and fairness. In a picturesque scene at the Wood of Banzan, Louis IX, adorned in modest attire, would sit under an oak, providing an open forum for his subjects to present their grievances. One noteworthy instance reflects Louis IX's commitment to justice. A plea from the Lord Spiritual highlighted concerns about the disregard for excommunications, prompting the king to contemplate intervention. Louis IX, true to his principles, sought a balanced resolution, refusing to compel absolution without ensuring the righteousness of the clergy's actions. His unwavering dedication to justice prevailed, leaving a lasting impression on those who sought his counsel. Louis IX's pursuit of peace further defines his reign. Despite counsel advising against concessions in a peace treaty with the King of England, Louis IX, motivated by familial ties and a vision for lasting harmony, took a divergent path. The strategic decision, though questioned by his advisors, demonstrated the king's prioritization of familial relationships over territorial disputes. A testament to Louis IX's integrity unfolds in a case involving a contested charter. Faced with a broken seal and a contentious claim, the king, guided by a moral compass, sought counsel from his advisors. Ultimately, he decided to restore the disputed land, illustrating his commitment to fair and open dealings, even when faced with ambiguity. In 1248, Louis IX embarked on the Seventh Crusade, driven by a profound sense of duty as a child of God. 
Despite facing setbacks, including pestilence and his own capture by Muslims, Louis IX's conduct in captivity earned admiration. His fearlessness in the face of threats impressed his captors to the extent that they reduced his ransom out of respect. Upon his return to France, Louis IX continued to rule with integrity. He navigated the complexities of political alliances with unwavering commitment to his promises, even when offered control of Jerusalem in exchange for breaking a treaty. His reign is often considered the golden age of France, marked by innovations in art and architecture. The iconic Saint-Chapelle, a masterpiece of Gothic architecture, stands as a testament to the cultural flourishing during his rule. King Louis IX, the saintly and crusading monarch, left behind a legacy of piety, justice, and unwavering commitment to God. Despite facing challenges and setbacks, his virtuous reign inspired innovations, and his personal piety influenced religious practices that endure to this day. Thank you for joining Epic Odyssey in exploring the extraordinary life of St. Louis IX, the pious monarch and crusader king. If you have suggestions for future content, be sure to leave a note in the comments.